Okay, so the first few questions are just using the inequality signs. So x is greater than 5 is simply written like that. x is greater than 5. It's greater than because on this side the sign is wider, it is bigger. That side of the sign is smaller. So on this side you have the bigger value and on this side you have the smaller value. Which is why it reads x is greater than 5. You could read it backwards and you could say 5 is less than x if you wanted to. The next one, x is less than or equal to 7. So x less than or equal to 7. So this time we are including the 7 and x is less than so it's on the small side of the sign. Part 3, x is between 2 and 10. So when we have a between, we can put the x down first. The 2 is the smaller number and the 10 is the bigger number. So to be between the two, x is going to be less than 10. It's also going to be greater than the 2. So x is greater than 2 or 2 is less than x. Because it's inclusive, we are including the n values. So when you have it between, you write it as one inequality like this. Moving on to the last one. We've got x is less than minus 3 or greater than 5. So x is less than minus 3, could be written like this, and greater than 5 will be written like this. Non-inclusive means we are not including the 5 or the minus 3. Now this time we write it as two separate inequalities because it is two separate sets of numbers. For example, if you had a number line, the minus 3 will be here and the 5 will be here. Less than minus 3 is these numbers, and greater than 5 is those numbers. Two separate sets of numbers, so you write it as two separate inequalities, don't write it as one. Moving on to the next questions, this time we are solving inequalities. Now as the handout tells you, just make sure that if you multiply or divide by a negative number, then you reverse the sign. So we'll go through this one. We want the x's on one side, we want the numbers on the other. So if we leave the 3x where it is, bring that x over so that will subtract on this side. Leave the 4 where it is, the 10 will then add on the other side. So if we simplify, we get 2x is greater than or equal to 14. To get the x on its own, we're going to divide both sides by 2. Because we are dividing by a positive, we do not need to change the sign so that can stay as it is. And you have x is greater than or equal to 7. Answer. As we move on to the next one, again we get all the x's on one side, so we leave the 2x, bring the 5x over so we subtract, leave the minus 4 and subtract the 7 on the other side. So this will give us minus 3x, this will give us minus 11. To get the x on its own we need to divide both sides by minus 3. Now here we are dividing by a negative number, so we reverse the sign. Okay, And then simplify the right hand side, a negative divided by a negative is positive, and we can just leave it as 11 thirds, and that is your final answer. At this stage, if you wish to avoid a negative, if you wish to avoid a negative, you could have taken the 2x over to the other side. So we start off like this. If we'd brought the numbers on this side, so we have a 7 plus 4, and then a 5x, and then we move the 2x to that side, so we subtract the 2x. 7 plus 4 is 11, 5x minus 2x is 3x. We divide both sides by the 3, but because we are dividing by a positive, we do not reverse the sign. And we still have x is greater than 11 over 3, which is the same answer as before.